All right, welcome everyone back to Ezra's Quest. We're gonna go ahead and jump in here. And uh, we are here with Ezra and now Windstorm 23F, who we just, we just began courting. So be thinking of potential names if we do end up keeping her as a prospective mate here. We decide that these two do want to stay together. Uh, definitely be thinking of those names, but these two had a bit of an interesting start. Uh, Ezra... E Ezra took his time. <laughs> we spent some time wandering around the mountain, but in the end, our, our first impression was our strongest one, and we ended up returning to Windstorm here, and she she's definitely quite the cutie. Uh, you can see a little bit about her here. I put her designation there. She's got the black tail gray coat, which is a um, double gray coat coat, and three-star diversity, so not too bad. Yeah, you're definitely welcome to spectate too for the community events if you can't play because it's too full or because, okay, we've got to, well, first first things first, we have to go hunting here. So I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to regain my bearings here. Let's see if we can find something to eat before the, uh, before the day is up here. We'll, we'll see. Who is this? Oh, Calamity Dispersals are over here too. Okay. Do we ever run into those? Oh, we can hunt some beavers. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you're very welcome to spectate whether or not you can play, whether it's too full or your computer just can't handle it. Still a fun time. You get to jump in and uh, and cause some shenanigans here. <laughs> oh, there's an eagle fishing in the distance. Okay, then. All right, where are the beavers? I have to actually focus on this a little bit. All right, there's one heading down this way. Oh, she's gonna startle him. Careful there. We're gonna have to. There we go. We got some names coming in here. Very cute name suggestions thus far. Oh, oh, you get off of her there. Oh my goodness. These two are just absolutely decimating this beaver here. No, 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 though. We're not doing this. Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, that was a near miss. But, or a near, uh, um, near miss? Near miss. We did. We hit barely. <laughs> we succeeded just barely. All right. Um. Oh yeah. I don't remember if there's a limiter on the mate names. It might be capped at five, possibly. But we got some good name suggestions uh, coming in here. Did you eat the entire thing? It's gone now. All right. I guess you were hungry. <laughs> Windstorm was apparently very, very hungry. Oh yeah, be thinking about pack names in case we finish that today as well. I'm not sure if we will or not. Um, challenging difficulty, yes. So I'm going to be revising uh, how we actually go about the difficulty system. It's no longer going to be tied to uh, the, the subscriber goals. So I actually kind of want to get you guys' help on that. How do you think we should handle the difficulty system? And what should we do for our subscriber goals? Because I just kind of felt like they weren't... Like, that wasn't the best... That wasn't the best fit for subscriber goals, I guess. Because... Um, you know, you might want to subscribe, but not contribute to making it a harder difficulty. And so then that kind of, I, I guess I feel like the subscriber goals should be a little bit more global and it would still be nice to have a way of changing the difficulty so that every once in a while we play on accurate. However, um, I kind of just want to gear that up in a slightly different manner. So I don't know what you guys think about that. If you have any ideas on how we can do that or not. But that's something that could be kind of fun. Oh, there's an elk herd here. All right. We have time for a hunt. We have time for a hunt. Might have to focus on this a little bit. Um, oh, that was up to six. Okay, so there's probably not a limit then. We'll just do multiple pulls if we need to. All right. Let's see. Are any of these... Hello, whole other wolves? Who are you? Who are you? Excuse? Well, they're running now. Who the heck? Oh, it's the rogue wolves. Okay. I see. <laughs> well, quick to pick fights, apparently. All right. Well, where did this elk herd go? They went this way, apparently. Now that we've been thoroughly distracted by little... Nope, they didn't. They went the other way. All right. They kept running in this direction. That was back the way we came. Okay. Let's see if we can get one hunt in before we get too tired. We're going to have to kind of move fast. That's a cougar. All right. I might have to focus a little bit on the hunting. Oftentimes trying to chat and uh, and hunt doesn't go too well. 
Who are you? You're running in the totally opposite direction. You're not even that weakened, but I guess we'll go after you. We may as well. Oh my gosh. Windstorm just got yeeted. Oh my goodness, are you okay? <laughs> it's the second time she has just been absolutely yeeted. Are you good? <laughs> are you good? <laughs> Hold on a hot second. Okay, that time it didn't happen. Well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, somehow. Get- Oh no, are you- <laughs> She's probably not so good now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, of course, absolutely needs ragdoll physics. Oh my gosh, that would be the best thing. <laughs> they gotta do that for April Fools. Everything just starts ragdolling across the map. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah, th this uh, this elf got, got some legs. She, she do not be skipping leg day, that is for sure. <laughs> Watch out, Windstorm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Instead of sliding down hills, you don't know, rank You just go cartwheel into the bottom. This is fine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, not even surprised with all the genetic chaos. Oh yeah, for anybody who missed that the previous time, Ezra has a double black coat gene. <laughs> Despite this being genetically impossible for him. So, for context, the way this happened is probably the same way that it happened to Puma. For a while there, the game was re-rolling, because, you know, whenever whenever your wolf is a black wolf, there's a chance that it has a double black coat. I think it's just 1 in 10 versus it being um, a, a normal black-gray coat, um, according to the wiki. Because black is a dominant gene, either one will result in a black coat. And, you know, if you're a pup, those genes should roll from your parents. But there was a glitch that was causing it to re-roll even for pups, and they fixed that a while ago after after Puma's run, which is why Puma also had a black coat, or double black coat, despite having a gray coat and mother. Ezra's father had a gray coat, and so Ezra should not have a black coat. Uh, he, he shouldn't. It should be a genetic impossibility for him. However, apparently he had just enough overlap with that glitch from the time that he got aged up to also be affected with it. And I could have sworn he hadn't because I had gotten him checked at one point. And so it must have ha somehow still re-rolled after that. And so again, it true to form, true to his family, there's been a double black coated wolf in every generation, despite when it shouldn't even be possible for that to happen. Because Remus was also Remus was also a double black coat. <laughs> so 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 that's Ezra. Um, I I can't even be surprised. I think this entire pack is just Lost River mutants at this point because originally Peregrine's origins would have been from Lost River too. So, I, yeah. Um. I, I can't even claim surprise at this point. I really can't. Time for all black coat pups again. Yeah, uh, at least at least Hurricane's side of the family can have a gray coated pups, cause cause Ezra's sure not gonna. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so pack name suggestions aren't necessarily gonna be open yet, but keep be thinking of them because it could fall during this episode, depending on how quickly we get through courtship. Which I've just realized we're at, like, 80% for already. <laughs> so be thinking about whether we want to keep Windstorm as a mate and possible pack names if we go straight through Territory Quest. Um, Ezra's not taking his time now that he's made his decision. Alright, whoop, goodness. Stay away from me, Elk. Oh, Windstorm, were you thinking maybe this one? I heard someone eat dirt back there. What about this one? We're hunting the mostly the cows. This is probably not a good option. Oh, this one's pretty weakened. All right, we can go for this one. Let's go for this one. Windstorm's jumping in. She she definitely seems to be a pretty confident wolf herself, despite being a little injured at the moment she got that during the last hunt. She she definitely she feels like she matches Ezra pretty well. Like, these two just fell into a very natural rhythm of beating the living snot out of anything that gets in their way. <laughs> and that's honestly on brand. Honestly, that's on brand. 
So the glitches do make things interesting. Yeah, Wolf Quest is not that glitchy of a game either, which is why it's baffling to me that we keep finding these things. Oh, okay. Um, so, well done. This wolf is impressed with your strength and hunting skills and is willing to be your mate. Do you want to be their mate? How long? We are 10 minutes into this episode, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even trying to speedrun. These two are just wasted absolutely no time now that they made their choice. It's a good thing you did open the mate names right away. We want it, we want to keep Windstorm. We could extend trial if you guys want to see more of her. Um but it depends on uh, what y'all are thinking. I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of time, keeper. All right. Wow, we got some good mate names as well. Okay, so I think we're gonna have multiple polls here if we do end up uh, keeping her here. Keeper, keeper. Considering the la entire last stream is about fighting this woman again, I think we gotta keep her. Yeah, that's fair. She's perfect. Keep her. You, you like to see more of her personality. Okay. Generally, everyone is saying either keep or extend trial. So I think there's been more votes for, for keeping her at this point. Um... I'll give a little bit less more. Yeah, she was very energetic and friendly. She was, or when we first bumped into her, she, <laughs> she, she was quite an outgoing wolf. Do they have, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Windstorm 23F. I have to check Ezra's designation because I think Ezra might have been 23M, which is kind of strange if so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm seeing a lot more, a lot more yeses than hesitation. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll sort of be best friends with Gaia. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and we'll say yes. Soulmates, honestly, sometimes it'd be that way. Sometimes you just know. Ezra is 23M. Oh my goodness, y'all, it was meant to be. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead then and we'll pause the, um, or we'll, 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 we'll cut this off here. Uh, we'll cut off the, um, name submissions. Can't think today. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and turn those off. It looks like we have eight, so we'll be doing two polls, voting for the, or four, or we'll do three polls, four, four, and then the winner of those two. So, 24M. Oh, he might be 24M. We'll see, we'll check in a minute. I don't remember what Ezra's designation is off the top of my head. Um... All right, 23F. Here we go. All right, let me get this set up here. I'm seeing a theme in some of these names. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, or you know what? We can do, we can do two polls. We'll do two polls. Um, because we can fit the winner of this one into the second one. So I'm just going down the list in the order that these are submitted. So the winner of this one will, will go into the, into poll part two. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and we will do this. And then there'll be a part two to this in a second here. And I will go ahead. We will tweet these. All right. Is he 24? No, he's 23M. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the family tree is impressive. Uh, again, huge thanks to Genesty for like actually tracking everything better than I've ever managed to. I've been doing this for seven years this summer. And it is, wait, was it seven years this summer or was it seven years last summer? No, it's seven years this summer because I started in 2016. Almost seven years, I'm pretty sure. Which is wild to me <laughs> that I've been on YouTube as a whole. We have over, over 300 wolves in the main family tree alone, let alone all the side ones. Like just the descendants, or just Katari and Terrell and their descendants. There's over 300 wolves in that. Uh, Rain counted them recently, and I am still in shock from that. <laughs> um, Alright, so it looks like the first one, or the first, here, the first, so the first poll we have Sabine. Am I saying that right? I'm probably going to say it wrong. If I get her name wrong consistently, I'm so sorry. Um, Alright. Let's see. 
So here are our second options. We'll go ahead, we will start this pull, because I think that's all of them. Shuffling through all of these. All right, here we go. Poll number two for the final name here. All right. <laughs> Sabine, okay, good. Good Good to know that I'm not saying this horrendously incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good names. There, there's, there's way more good names than we're ever going to be able to use, so... Uh, as long as nobody minds, I think feel free to yoink them because y'all have some good suggestions. <laughs> y'all have some darn good suggestions a lot of the time. Um, Puma had 14 girls and 23 boys. That's a lot more skewed than I remembered it being. Also, that's quite a few. <laughs> it's 27. That's 27. Well, no, 27 pups in total. I don't remember how many of them survived. Um... Yeah, I do recognize the Rebels reference. I've not actually seen Rebels myself. Um, I've heard that it's good. I, gosh, I'm gonna get judged for this so hard. <laughs> I was not, I'm, I'm not really, oh, we've got a tie, okay. All right, tiebreaker pull. <laughs> All right, let me set this up. All right, it's between Sabine and Gail. <laughs> So, one more poll! One more poll! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Three polls after all, there's no escaping it. But yeah, I... I'm not gonna say I dislike Star Wars, because that's not, that's not what it is. I just... I was never as into it as most of the people around me were, and so I haven't actually kept up with a lot of- also a lot of it moved to Disney+, Plus, and I don't watch things on Disney+, Plus, so, like, I've not kept up with a lot of it. <laughs> and at this point, there's so much Star Wars content to watch that I- I don't know how, how easy it would be to catch up. I've heard some of it is quite good, I would definitely be down to watch more of it, including a lot of the animated stuff, but I'm not very up to date, so. Oh no! I hope it, hope it lets you end up voting. Polls go burr, I guess. Yeah, I like- I mean, I like the movies- well... I've not seen most of the, the final trilogy, and I don't intend to. <laughs> I saw the first one, and I'm going to live with my head cannons for it, and the remaining two are not canon to me. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's how it stands for, for me here. Um, the, the most recent trilogy. Anyway, looks like Gail is the winner of a poll. Quite a close margin again. So, we will be going ahead and naming her Gail. Which I think is a new name. I think, has that went, well, maybe it's not. There's a lot that haven't, there's a lot that have, um, have popped up before. Yeah. Nothing makes fans salty like discussing Star Wars. I know, I'm aware that all of this is incredibly contested stuff too, and honest to goodness, like, I don't have... And now, oh, Gail has marked, Gail has marked the territory just right starting out, apparently. Okay, these two are, are not wasting time, that is for sure. They have much the, much the same energy enthusiasm, it would seem. Let's see. Maybe the other legacy's been on the main legacy, okay. So yeah, I think that is a name we've not seen pop up frequently, if at all. Um, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. I, I do, it, you keep picking names of characters that I have from other, other things. Also, before we finish, right, we gotta do another poll. Um, before we do this, in fact, I'll leave it here. So, northeast, or northwest, northeast... Southeast is down in the area, or so, yeah, southeast is the area we're in. Um, southwest center. Where are we going? Where are we? Where are we putting our territory? Um, let's see. All right. All right. Before I commit to marking territory here, because I'm used to doing that. Alright, you, you keep- 
<laughs> Rain knows my character's name for- I, I don't know if anybody- oh, I'll leave the map up. I don't know if anybody else had known this either, but um, I do have a character named Ezra, which is incredibly funny to me that you managed to pick that name. <laughs> Weratory, I figured it fit! <laughs> Be nice to get away from the ranch. But you can vote now. Yeah, I expect it's gotta be pretty split between people who want ranch and people who don't want ranch. <laughs> this is why I've introduced the revival system, because I would not at all be surprised if you lot decide that Ezra should be a ranch wolf. I'm not gonna be shocked by that in the slightest. I'm really not. <laughs> um, You want to see ranch on stream? This is... This is this is not what I this like this is not unforeseen to me. Southeast, southeast. All right, not unforeseen at all. <laughs> Guess we'll just put our scent post here and start marking. All right, so there's there's three ran or there's three dens around the ranch. I'm pretty sure. So I'll try to find and show those on on stream here so that you can know what our options are. Appreciate the one person who wants to fight Van Winkle and everyone for territory. Yes, this is also an excellent option in Lost River. <laughs> Lost River has everything that you could possibly want, from being a menace to the poor cattle rancher who's trying to mind his own business in the in the corner and just can't, to the ability to throw hands with anyone and everyone because they are in the way. <laughs> the new den by the Lost would be a cool area. Ooh, yeah, you're right. You right, you right. All right, I'll try to swing by over here. I can only imagine what the swarm will do on Friday. We'll have to frickin' find out. I, I'm gonna have to- I hope you know that I'm gonna have to make a new category entirely for the purpose uh, of the cattle ranch because I ent entirely predict that everybody's gonna want to do ranch runs at some point. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way how to scoreboard the cows just because I expect that this is where this is gonna go. Also, welcome to the stream. We are setting up our territory down here in the south. We have Ezra and his new mate, Gale, who really did not waste any time courting. <laughs> uh, I guess sometimes when you know, you know. Where Where is Gale going? What have you noticed? Oh, I see. You've noticed a fight. Who are these folks down here? The swarm pack strikes again. He may be a part. <laughs> That's very valid. That is very valid. Who are you? Who are you? You want to fight? I don't think that's a good idea for you. Yes, I know. Rogue, 345 F. You are rivaling the main legacy in how many wolves this pack has had. Good gosh. All right, let's see. Whoa. Oh, there's three of you. That doesn't matter. We're, we're still going to win. Still going to win. 349 F. Did we run into these wolves? We did bump into them at one point, didn't we? Yep. You can go. Goodbye. Rogue wolves shaking my head. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. I don't know. So I think the problem with more players with pups, as fun as it would be to have the swarm raise puppies, I, I think it's just kind of a lot. Like, it's just kind of hard to have that many players raising pups and still have it have any semblance of cohesion. I think that's kind of the issue here. They're even bigger than the Druid pack. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Who knows what the Rogue pack has been up to? Oh, is that a Wilbur? Hello, me friend. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, Gale is bullying the Wilbur. All right. I'm gonna- Oh, there- No, 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 no! I don't want to eat the other- <laughs> I didn't even see there's a second Wilbur here! I didn't mean to bite him. I just wanted to take a bite here. Oh my goodness, Gale! Gale! <laughs> Gale is fighting everything in the middle distance. <laughs> yeah. It is also a longer run. At some point, I think having a pups run would be fun, and then we can just have a lot of people spectate if a lot of folks aren't able to join in. Um, oh, I bet that pit was from an eagle. I was like, why is there just a solitary little little pit? Um, Gale be fighting. We're probably going to do a lot of this, honestly, uh, because Ezra is also not averse to throwing hands. <laughs> Gale, disrespect your surroundings. <laughs> Gale wants violence, don't we all? Alright. Peace was never an option. I think that's gonna be the general vibe of this series, considering the 
the the mutual level of chaos. I I knew Ezra was gonna be a chaotic one. I'm not at all surprised that he has a uh, <laughs> he he's found his match. <laughs> These two truly were made for each other. He's just Wilbur now. Yeah, they're all they're all Wilbur's now. Um, is Lost River seem more difficult to raise pups in, or are you really unlucky? Um. It kind of depends. So the Cattle Ranch area is actually really challenging to raise pups in because there's not a lot of prey. Uh, there is the gold herd. They do not exist when you're not looking for them. I'm convinced that this elk herd is is made of ghosts. They are they only exist when they want to, and that's very seldom. There's another Wilbur. Very seldomly is that when you actually want to hunt. So it is actually very hard to raise pups by the Cattle Ranch a lot of the time um, because there's just so this is one of the deads over here by the way if you don't rely on the ranch it's hard to find it can be very challenging to find food that's a challenge that i'm wholly willing to accept though in fact i think it kind of makes sense because it kind of makes your choices i mean i don't i think it's entirely unintentional too but it makes your choices a little bit more significant with that to really commit to going to the ranch for food more often so it, it adds an interesting new layer to this so if you're raising pups near the ranch and you're trying not to rely on it, then yeah, 100% I think it could be harder just because of the shenanigans that the gold herd likes to to cause. I'm not going to say, you know, I, there was a point in time when I was thinking the gold herd was going to be the new stone crop herd, and I don't think that's quite right because they're really not cursed. They're just constantly absent. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> they're, they're still still cursed in their own way, but not in the not in the same way that the, the stone crop herd is. Yeah, he is just Wilbur now. <laughs> He, he, I think he'll always be Wilbur to me. I, I, I don't think I can undo that at this point. You can have a server of 7 in 2.7. Yeah, you can have more people on raised pups in uh, 2.7. They're not evil, just ghosts. Exactly, you get it. <laughs> um, I feel like whenever you're done, listen to Lost River, you wake up to an elk herd standing five feet away. <laughs> yeah, that can happen sometimes. The other thing about Lost River is it actually is a bigger map. It's 8x8 kilometers, I'm pretty sure, as a, opposed to 7x7, seven seven, which is actually a significant more amount of land. Uh, once you start, like, once you once you start getting to higher and higher numbers, that, that, that difference, even though it's only one kilometer more in each direction, it actually adds a lot more area. So Lost River is also bigger, um, and that can have an influence as well. Oh no, I'm glad you're able to make it. Don't worry about being late, though. It happens sometimes. Honestly, half the time I forget I'm streaming until my alarm for it goes off, so it's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it happens. Um. Ah, see you later, Violet. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Lost River is really... I think they did a really good job with this version of the map, too, because one of the flaws of the older Lost River map was that outside of the town area, there was really not a lot to do. Like, it was kind of just empty and vacant. And, and that, was a, that was a challenge, I think. And I think they really did a good job of not letting this map become the, that. Because, like... You have the town area, and then you have, like, 90% of all of this is just wilderness. And that could easily become very, very empty. However, they've interspersed enough little interesting things throughout it, and also just having the terrain be differently styled. It's more mountainous. It's got some very unique natural features to it. It's very different from the Yellowstone maps, despite, you know, still just being a lot of it wilderness and not all having human elements to it. So I think they did a, a really tremendous job on um, making the map distinct, even in the, or like, beyond just by virtue of the human areas. Days of the week are difficult. Yeah, moving moving my streams to Wednesdays is one of the best and worst things I've ever done. <laughs> uh, in many ways, it's going to be helpful, especially with some of the schedule changes that I've gone through recently. And I am not going to remember that it's a thing ever for, for, for months, probably. I'll probably remember it until I have to change it again. And then right about the time that I'm getting used to it, something else will change. That's kind of just the way this goes. <laughs> um... Fry is the only the day that uh, you remember. Yeah, I, I, I generally can get more. Generally, I get more more accustomed to the days of the week. Come the weekend, the weekend sticks out a little bit more to me. <laughs> um, and then the 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 middle of the week days blur together. I think I woke up thinking it was Thursday and was like, well, hang on a second, no, 
Actually, no, it's not. It's not Thursday today. <laughs> Thursday is important, though. We got some interesting things happening tomorrow. Very interesting things indeed that I cannot talk about yet. Hmm. We will see, we will see, we will see. Um, yeah, homeschooling also does that. Hey, Gail's feeling a little bit better. Homeschooling definitely does that to you, too. That's one of the downsides of homeschooling, is you never remember what day of the week it is unless you have stuff that, um, takes place in a, like, a, a co-op classroom. Also, yo, thank you for the, thank you for the sub, Rhea. Rhea? Raya? I, I don't know how, how you'd prefer that to be pronounced. But, thank you nonetheless, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of the, that's one of the ubiquitous homeschool experiences, is that unless you have a lot of scheduled activities, it, it really, it, it does all just kind of start to blend in your brain. Wednesdays have to stick out to me, though, because I, <laughs> Wednesdays are when I, when I run a D&D &D game, so I kind of can't forget about it. Um, it would be kind of in a bad situation if I forgot that I was DMing. <laughs> um... Oh, we got some dogs. Some shepherds in the background there, running by. Your wolf ghost found a beaver in the middle of winter. Uh-oh. Poor fellow must have gotten frozen out of his lodge. Special thing indeed. Special thing that eventually will have repercussions for, uh, lay YouTube. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Cannot confirm nor deny what that might be. Uh, but very special thing indeed. And then Friday, of course, is community event. Indeed, there are some some wheels turning, mayhaps. Oh yeah, yep, that'll happen. <laughs> yes, that thing. <laughs> you do know what the thing is that I'm being cryptic about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, that that can definitely that can definitely be a thing. Okay, so what are the other dens are finding? So we we stopped at a rock den over there. Um, the one that's over here is the ghost town den. This is where Petra was. I'm forgetting what the special thing was. Listen, days are hard. <laughs> days are hard. Too many things to keep track of. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the den that Petra was at. If you saw that one, it's the, the ghost town den. We did find this one the previous time, but I'll poke my head over here again. This is going to be one of the options. There's really only three dens that are super close to the ranch. So those will be our three options here. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. No, it's not- it's not- Oh, hello? No? Not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not something that you guys will s cease this. I know you want to go to the cattle ranch, boy, but it's too soon. <laughs> it's too soon. We have to go over here first. I just want to mark my territory. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not something you guys will see tomorrow. So don't- don't get super excited about it yet, but it is important for something you guys will see eventually. Uh, it'll- it'll have its fallout in due time. And if you're watching this next week when it goes up on YouTube, you're probably thoroughly confused, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, wheels are turning, though. Ooh, yeah, Ghost Town Den is really, really good. I like the Ghost Town Den quite a lot. Uh, I'm so sorry, don't worry. Your, your dreams will become evident eventually. Oh yeah, the other day you watched a moose walk straight down the street of the ghost town, just ominously walking through town. So okay, um, so one of my personal wolves is uh, called Arcturus. Um, he's actually Peregrine's brother. You might hear more about him eventually. I would love to do some lore stories with him some point, but his playthrough's not been recorded or anything. Uh, he's just the wolf that I play with, and on multiple occasions, this has happened to him a few times, there have just been like three or four elk that have just shown up and sprinted through the street of the ghost town, heading that way, with with no rest of the herd present. And my only theory on that, game mechanics-wise, is that the herd is spawning in such a way that it tries to spawn in the middle of the ghost town, and so some of the elk get, like, shoved to either side of it. But it's the most haunting thing to look up and just see, like, four elk sprinting straight at you from, from like, yay about here just run past you and disappear into the night. It's the most terrifying thing, and it, it further further adds to my theory that the the, the, the gold herd is made of ghosts. <laughs> I swear to you, this herd is not normal. <laughs> um, you stay in the Temple Rock area, the ghost, ghost stand in the other two dens near. It was a good experience. Pray was 
scarce and it was hard to navigate the run of sites for someone to travel the area is hard with with the pups oh no yeah again like if you stay in this area I'm, I'm trying to what i'm trying to do by the way why i'm running around um I'm like a maniac over here i'm trying to claim a territory that's gonna allow us to pick any of the dens in this general area without having too much work um yeah, so again, like, the challenge with it, I, it's just, it's gotta be something with the way the terrain is set up, I think, because I, I doubt any of this is on purpose, and I doubt the ghost elk, like, I don't even think they're a proper bug, I think they're a quirk. Um, I think they're just some sort of quirk of the way that it's laid out, and the, the way that, um, I, I'm guessing it's gotta be. <laughs> That's my only explanation for it. Um, but for whatever quirk of this, the gold herd is really hard to find. So that's one challenge of here is you have the cattle ranch, you have the beavers, and you have the gold herd, and good luck finding the, the latter. <laughs> They're never where you need them to be, or you have to run very far. So you're not going to get as much issue with the stranger wolf packs fighting you, because you can see we're all very far away from them. But, uh, oh yeah, it's a fun lore feature. I'll be, I will be genuinely sad if they ever manage to adjust whatever it is that is causing the gold herd to do that because it is so terrifying when it happens and it perfectly fits the vibe of the lost river i think i i consider it a feature <laughs> i hope they never take it out um but it is a strangety that i've encountered in personal playthroughs um yeah i don't know what the sickness issues i mean not issues like it feels like the sickness is more prevalent in Lost River, and I don't think that- I, I don't know what's causing that, because I don't think it is, but it- it's weird. It, it feels like there- there is quite a lot of sickness in Lost River. So, fortunately, uh, hopefully- hopefully the pups here will be good with that. Um, I mean, we got whatever weird heckery is coming back to Lost River with Ezra's genetics, and of course, Gale is a, um... A resident, so hopefully whatever, um, whatever strange genetic lack of disease resistance was going on with Petros pups is not going to happen here. Well, and I mean, all of the pups will have black gray coats, so hopefully that'll help as well. But it does feel like the sickness can be quite prevalent, and I don't really know what that is, because I, I, I can't, I don't think it's anything, like, I, I don't think there's anything actually to that. I don't think it actually is more prevalent, but for whatever reason, I understand why people feel that way. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pretend Ghost Elk is part of the lore. It is absolutely part of Arcturus's lore. Um, it just absolutely is. So. Wow. You've had a litter with five, six get sick, and then a litter with none of six get sick. That's wild. Yeah, I th again, it's just, I think it's just whatever the odds happen to be. Sometimes you get really lucky or really unlucky. For whatever reason, the Lost River, I, maybe it's just the general vibes of the Lost River make people pay more attention to it. Whatever the case may be, I don't think it's like an actual game mechanical thing. I think it's just, for whatever reason, something skewing the perception of it. Yep, yep, now's a good time to open pack names. Now would be a good time to open that. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, we got some interesting pack names showing up here. Keep in mind, too, this is going to last through the um, the entire series, so whatever you send in sticks. What am I looking at? I'm looking for quests. All right, we need more, more territory. I'm going to go up then, I think, and claim some territory up there and possibly also sleep. Oh yeah, the Lucky Pack is also just a bunch of bullies. Lucky Pack likes to turn up when you're not even near them and just cause problems. <laughs> Again, I don't think that's like an actual mechanical thing, but for whatever reason, they're just known to do that. Um, they, they like to bully the other packs, apparently. And if they show up to try to bully me, I will bully them back. Who am I hearing? I guess somewhere there might be, um... Somewhere there might, might be an elk herd. It does fit Lost River a little bit. Um, some very cool names coming in here, though. It's weird to be picking another path name. It's been a while since we've done that. All right, how? Oh my goodness! Got to keep running. All right, we're gonna have to sleep somewhere along the way. Uh, I just want to get further north-ish so that we're not so far away. 
<laughs> Gail is gonna be so confused when all their props to black coats, and Ezra's just gonna be like, yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> Honestly, though. Honestly, I don't know why this entire lineage- I find it so funny to me that this lineage specifically keeps having this happen. Like, it's- The fact that it happened- the fa it, It's happened every generation there has been something weird to do with a double black coat. Every single generation. We were confused about Remus, initially. We were confused about Remus. He has a double black coat. I did go back and verify that, by the way. He does, now that you can see it. I loaded up with Peregrine and Remus. He does, in fact, have a double black coat. Then Puma got it illegitimately with whatever heckery occurred with her genetics. And I'm just at this point attributing it to this pack has some strange Lost River mutation that has continued to pass down uh, that causes the gene to mutate to double black. It just That's my only explanation for this at this point in canon. That's what I'm rolling with. I don't have another, another explanation. So Puma got it weirdly. Um... And then Ezra gets the same darn thing, so I'm just waiting for some new glitch to pop up at this point. At, at this point, I am just waiting for a new glitch to pop up to make it happen again, because the original one has been fixed. The one that affected Ezra and Puma has been fixed. And I will not stop laughing if something else pops up just in time to to afflict Ezra's pups. Like, it would be the most on-brand thing to ever happen to this pack, and I'm kind of just waiting for it to happen at this point. Um, let's see. You found a mate whose stats are the complete opposite of yours. Oh, that's pretty cool. A yeah, complete and total inversion there. Very cool names showing up here, by the way. Oh, you want to switch over your your name? Okay, just let me know. Let me know when um when I go to pick, because uh I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Biochemically tr triggered double black mutation. Yep. <laughs> this is this is the explanation that I'm choosing for this because it is it is just too funny to pass up, especially considering that Peregrine's lore now places her as a, a Lost River descendant. Uh, this is based off the fact that Arcturus is from, um, like, Arcturus and his parents, who are canonically also Peregrine's parents, um, are from Lost River. So the fact that both of them are originally from Lost River and then Peregrine has those shenanigans, um, it fits a little too well to ignore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think, too, interestingly enough... I'm trying to remember. Hasn't everyone in Frodo's legacy just been gray coats? I feel like both times we've had a gray coated player wolf and a gray coated mate. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Which is hilarious to me. Considering neither of those things are in intentional, and I wonder if it's just like a subconscious reaction to the packs completely diverging. Um, I think Hurricane's mate, isn't he one of the new gray NPC coats? Wasn't it, like, Frosty or Shadow or something? I think. More anomalies. There's, theirs has a more natural explanation, but it's still just hilarious to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's definitely gray. Yeah, I think that's happened both litters, just on its own. That's probably some sort of equal and opposite reaction to to this pack having all black wolves that are black coated wolves people are then picking up on that and then choosing opposite for the other pack but i it just is so funny to me how completely how completely they've diverged just just all on their own <laughs> uh just just I, I it's just funny to me yeah, I think it's one of the gray ones. I want to... It's not Frosty. I want to say it's Buffy or Shadow, maybe? I think it might be Shadow. It, it is so funny to me. None of this was intentional, but I'm living for it. <laughs> Alright. Um, also, be thinking about which den you want to pick. Uh, because... I, well, technically, one of them is further away. I think we'll probably see it pop up on the map. 
but I'm only going to include the three that are in ranch range because everybody said that they wanted to have on stream ranch shenanigans, so I'm assuming that's what we're doing. Which doesn't surprise me at all, by the way. <laughs> Somehow I had a feeling y'all were going to do this. <laughs> Alright, last territory to claim. And go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, go ahead and open den names because we're about to close pack names. Okay. I will make sure that I swap that name then. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, I think we go to quests, reveal one den. Now we gotta name the pack. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll close those. Go back to pack names. I'm gonna pause that. Oh my goodness, we've got, got some good names here. Alright, let me do pack names. So once again, I'm gonna do... So I'll do four names and then I'll run the winner against the previous ones. Alright. Alright. Uh, okay, so the first four should be good. Go ahead and start that poll. Yeah, we can do the ranch on stream. Just make sure to save up your channel points because you might need them if we're if we're gonna run into trouble. <laughs> um, okay, den names are open as well. And be thinking about which den you want us to head to. So there's the um, rock den north of the ranch. There's the ghost town den, and then there's a tree den that's um, further up. It's a little bit further away. So. All right, pack name part one. Drawn to its close here. Getting our first den names here. We got kind of a, a little bit of a spooky theme going on for the <laughs> the pack, it seems, or for the some of these name suggestions, which is kind of fitting. Ezra does kind of have like a, a sort of ghostly kind of phantom appearance. It's really cool. I, <laughs> Why does this wolf have all of the classic makings of a legend about him? <laughs> I really don't know. All right, Lost Fog is the winner of the first one. So, let's see. All right. Let me see here. All right, pull part two, here we go. And now we got den names as well. Very, very, very good name suggestions again, everyone. Thank you for sending those all in. Ooh, we got some more fun den names coming in. Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> Rip. Uh, yeah, the ranch generates a lot of fun stories. Fun or memorable stories, that is for sure. Very much for sure. Alright. About to find out the pack name, too. The poll is very nearly done. And in a moment more, we'll see what you guys have picked, and... Okay, looks like we're gonna go with the Lost Fog Pack. Alright, thank you everyone for sending that in. Let's move on to Choose a Den. Lost Fog, very fitting name. We do get some very pretty fog in this game as well. And I'll go ahead... Oops. And let me see here. So for the dens that we've got, I think this is the um, the farther back tree den. So which den? Let's do den ghost town uh, north or waterfall, I guess. 
because that's the one that's uh, kind of by the waterfall. And then, um, roadside tree. So, for context, this is the waterfall den. This is the ghost town. And this is the, um, this is the tree. And I'm gonna ignore whatever the heck this one is, because I don't even remember where it's at. It's not even in our territory, and it's not in running distance to the ranch. So... Den pull up. I'll start migrating my way back down towards all of them because none of them are close. <laughs> and we may get to meet the pups this time. We'll try try to actually get that over there. Oh yeah, be thinking about which um which of the age perks you want to rule out next too, because we'll pull pull for those too. Um Yeah, we'll try to see the puppies before we leave. See if Ezra gets any of the false gray pups, because that'd probably be the funniest thing that could happen to him. Uh, just continue to live on his legacy. We know now. We then knew. <laughs> the roadside den is pretty- all, all three of the dens down here low-key slap, not gonna lie. Uh, they're all very, very good options. Very many poles. Yeah, okay, and it looks like Waterfall has one, so we'll head straight down to this one. It's not too far away. Uh, what are his stats? Let me see. Uh, plus one strength, plus one speed, minus two health, and neutral stamina. Um, for Ezra. And then for Gale, uh, minus one strength, minus one stamina, plus two health. That's almost actually a perfect inversion as well. That's funny. Uh, and then a quick look at the perks we'll have. Of course, you can just buff any of the individual stats. Here's Youthful Prowess. More likely to have a larger litter pups. Six pups are more likely to cover. Competitors are more likely to flee. Fright more frightened, more interested, and more rival wolves are credible. That's not the more the prospective mates is not going to matter because we play with permadeath off. Uh, and then fun parent uh, negates the cooldown for socializing and makes it more effective. So yep, we'll get the den names. You know what? Let's actually start that poll now. Or well, I'll give you guys maybe a little bit longer. I'll give you guys a little bit, I'll give you guys a little further, but now that you know which den we're going to, I'm gonna close that down pretty quickly here. So, uh, but we'll start that in a second because we've got one more poll to get through with, with that then. Um, make sure though, to be thinking about which one you wanna rule out, which of the stats you wanna rule out, because we'll do five in the, in the poll. We'll do the remaining five and then the top three will win. Let us head down this way as well. Or, oh, it's right, is it this? It's, it might be this right here, is it? Is this the den? I think this is, this is, okay. All right, it is an open den. I think all the ones down here are open. So, interior of the den, we'll go ahead and name it. I'm gonna close that off. Go ahead and pause. Yeah, eagles. All right. So manage pull. Um, we've got three options by the look of it. And let me see. Okay. Really quick vote for the den name. Puppy names next week. We're definitely we're already pretty much gone over. We're gonna go over if we pick um, if we pick uh, age perks. We're gonna go over a little bit. <laughs> so I'm not gonna push it too much further. Um, and we want to have some time to get to know the pups anyway. But I will try to at least show you what they look like. Well, at least see what at least get to see a little bit about them. We have covered some heckin' ground this time. We made it all the way through courtship and territory quests, all the way to puppies. <laughs> I'm not even trying to. I guess Ezra and Gail just get some frickin' work done when they really put their minds to it. All right, den name poll is almost done, and we'll see that in a second. And then, yeah, if you got, if you know which stat you want to rule out, so it's the one that will not be in the poll, not one that you want to be in the poll. It's one that you don't want to see in the poll, then put that in chat because I'll set that up in just a second here. And it looks like we're going to call this Cozy Cavern. Go ahead and name the den. You already forgot his stats. I'll show him again in a second here when we get to the age perk screen, which is probably now, actually. Yep. All right. So I can just hear the waterfall. 
in the distance. All right, so strength one, health minus two, speed one, and stamina zero. Um, so it's up here. Ezra and Gale, the chaos pair, wasting no time. Yup, pretty much. Let be the way of it. All right, so it looks like all y'all want to rule out speed. So we'll go ahead, we'll do that. Then for the others, and I will open up channel point votes here. So make sure to... You can't you, you make sure you do vote for multiple if you uh, if you want so which perks should we choose we're gonna be picking the top three all right everybody's pretty much in agreement that speed is the one we should rule out so whatever next three ones win will be the ones that we go with and I'll open this up. Let's see. And close all this down. A lot of folks interested in Fun Parent so far and Youthful Prowess. Oh, kind of evening out a little bit. Got about half the poll left. Oh! <laughs> A lot of votes for health. <laughs> kind of watching these results go up and down here. Fun Parent is definitely the one that seems to have the most agreement at this time. It's pretty close between the other three, though. At the moment. Oh, it's kind of evening out. Kind of starting to even out. Last few moments here, and... All right, so the ones you've picked are Fun Parent, Youthful Prowess, and Health. So we'll go ahead and choose those Fun Parent, Youthful Prowess, and more health to kind of even out that minus two. We're going to advance in age as we always do and continue on. And oh, four puppies! Looks like one female and three males, so keep that in mind for names. We're not going to be doing those now, but we're going to be doing those for the next one. Need health for ranch, probably not a bad idea. Probably not a bad idea if we're going to be getting shot at. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and meet these guys just so we can say hello before we end off. Thank you for everyone who voted in the poll and sent in names. All the polls were early today. We've had quite a lot of them. There's QM. Hello. Hey, buddy. Go ahead and feed them. Oh, everybody else is crowding out of the den right now. Actually, most of them have very maybe it's just against the snow but a lot of them have very very dark coats yeah okay oh 2f i think actually has black fire possibly i think that's the one that can be the black fire coat it's it's definitely that 2f, 2F has one of my my favorite puppy coats oh and 3m has eyebrows <laughs> some of those are, are very i mean they're all very cute but i like the little 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 socks on the possible black fire Black coat gene coming through. Yeah, I'd be more scared if it wasn't. <laughs> this is Ezra we're talking about. But no false grays. We know now that any are going to be false, though. Where did... Oh, Gail's over there. Okay, she's hiding. She's blending in. She's camouflaged. But with that, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this off. The radioactive double black coat legacy just might continue. Oh my goodness. What coat do you even have? You have, like, the saturation all the way down, bud. This pup is just, like, the abyss. <laughs> oh, you're not full on food. Here, I'll feed you. Maybe they're just all gonna look that way compared to Ezra with his, his stark white fur. Which is funny, because the way genetics work, this is a black coat. It's just the white is a modifier off of the black pigment. Uh, but you can see he's got little teeny tips on his ears that are black. Um, and that's like all the actual black that he has in his coat. <laughs> um, but they genetic tested the, the real wolves that some of these coats are based off of, so they do know that this was a genetic black coat. Um, hey, family tree has been updated. Thank you again, Genesty. And with that, I think I am sorry, I'm just absolutely baffled where this incredibly dark tinting is coming from because these are the parents. Wait, who growling? 
Stop bullying each other. Be nice to your siblings. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So be thinking of your pup names for the next time because we are going to be naming these guys in the next episode. Uh, but with that, we'll go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and to drop a follow at JZX535 on Twitch.tv so that you can see when we're next going live right now. That's going to be Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Central Time. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Until then, this is Jay. Over and out.